Hi everyone, Alexandra Code here again. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Outgrow to create interactive content to stay away from, you know, that plain boring content that doesn't engage your users. From the very beginning on the Outgrow dashboard, you will have to choose which content type you want to create. And you've got a bunch of options in here, including a calculator, which is honestly something more difficult to put together without a tool in place because you'd have to turn to your developers and it can take a lot of time to get your whole team on board because, you know, it's a common effort. It's designers, it's developers, maybe QA, but this way you can just create it yourself and then have someone test it and that's good to go. Then you have some quizzes, assessments, polls, e-commerce recommendations. So this is crazy good chatbot, a giveaway, and a form. I'm going to take you through all of these briefly and kind of see what the editor looks like. So we're starting with a calculator and I'm just going to choose a template from here. And there's a lot of templates to choose from, from health and fitness calculator to technology and even some trending ones. So I'm going to just go with a marketing calculator, use this template, and you will be taken to the editor. Now the editor does remind me a bit of Typeform because you have kind of your questions in here and the editing options on the right side. So I'm just going to take you at this point through the entire editor and then we are going to look a bit more over the types of content you can create. And then straight away you have this welcome screen. So this is what people will see when they first click on your link or access your page. And you have all of the editing options you need here on the right side from changing the title of this calculator. For example, calculate the cost of your podcast studio and everything is just updated in real time and also saved as you know. You can just add in a subheading, some button text, like find out, add in a logo for your brand. I recommend you keep this on and just upload your logo from here and add a URL to your website. You can also choose how big you want it to be basically. Or if you don't want this screen at all, just click on hide welcome screen, but I'm going to keep this. And while still on this welcome screen, you can always just test it to see how it will look like on a mobile view. And you of course have some extra options, but I would recommend you always go through these as well. So for example, you have your lead generation properties. And this is kind of what you want to display in your fields. So maybe you don't want to get people's names and just click on delete. Or you can always add a new field in here. Type in a placeholder for this. And you can just have extra settings in here, including allowing people to skip this so they can use the calculator without giving the email or you can use a clear bit integration or you can also choose and this is super handy to disallow duplicate leads so that people can only submit their email once so this is super handy and then you have of course your display options so basically how you want this page to look like and notice that as i change the colors here the entire calculator gets changed a bit because I'm basically changing the theme of the entire calculator. You also have some background image options with stock choices in here. So maybe opt for something like this. Again, your branding options and even some payment settings if you want to enable these. So if you want, for example, to ask people to pay to get access to a specific type of content you will have to enable your payments in here and then you can just scroll down here and click on this or click on the sections you want to edit in here and really this is why I recommend starting with a template because it's easier to just get an idea of how many elements you want how you want the results and basically on, let's say, a question, you have your usual, again, similar to type form or SurveyMonkey if you're used to that, your usual options in here. 
So we are editing number four right now. And you also have some options like adding help text. So telling people what this question is about, what you need from them, just giving clarifications. And of course, for the calculator to work, you have to set in your values. And you also have the usual other option where people can come in and type their own answer in. And this is valid for all of these. Now, if you want to delete a question, just go to delete. Before you jump to create a new one, I would recommend maybe going to a question that's similar to the one you want, clicking on duplicate, and then you're going to drag that question where you need it. Or you can always go to add and select a question, a section, or again, a lead generation form. But we are just going to add a question for this. Again, all of your editing options are on the right side. So you can add in a question in here, and then you're going to gradually add your answer options in here. Then we're moving on to the results page. Just click here and you have the options to basically edit the results and the same thing for the chart, but you can decide if you want the chart, if you want the table for the results. This is a bit more advanced, so you might need to spend some extra time to configure the exact values in here. And the same result settings you can find here by just clicking on result. And then when you are happy with the design and the content for this, just go to configure. And you have some general settings in here, including what URL you want for this, if you need GDPR consent, if you want cookies on this, so if you want to track your users, and just a bunch of other options, also some cookie notifications, more tracking options, so you can integrate this with Google Analytics, with Google Tag Manager, HubSpot, whatever you're using. Then you have some SEO options, and this will help you kind of set the title tag and meta description for this page then you have some localization options if you wish to go for these and restrictions so you can actually restrict people by ip address or by country so for example you can choose to display this maybe just in the us or in specific countries and for the rest of the countries that don't make the list of countries you allow you can just send them a 404 page. So there is a lot of options in here, but every time you start a new campaign or rather a new content type, you want to go through these to make sure everything is on point. And there's a lot of settings. There's, you know, email notifications. So if you want to send people an email after they maybe give their email for this calculator in particular, or you can receive yourself notifications when someone uses this calculator you can also opt to save your result as pdf files you will then have quite a few integrations and these aren't really few because you have most of the tools you need in here plus zapier and webhooks and options for incoming and outgoing data and of course, your social integrations in case you want to connect this to a tool like Buffer or Hootsuite. And then you have the option to decide how you want to display this exactly. So the most common option for a calculator, for instance, is in page. And you just have to take this code snippet, copy it and add it onto your website. You can also use this as a pop up as a chat or a floater, but it really depends on the type of content you create. And then you have, this is just super handy, you have a promotional checklist, which kind of helps you see what you can do to actually promote your content. And this is ordered by impact. Of course, you can also just edit this depending on your goals. And then you have some advanced development options for external scripts and CSS. And then you can go to maybe preview your calculator. Try doing this as often as possible as you are testing this out just to make sure everything looks great. And you're going to have to add in a mock email or I recommend using a test email. And then you're going to see what this kind of looks like. And if everything looks great, you can just go live straight away. 
either at a outgrow domain or a custom domain. And you've got your public URL or the option to embed this on your website. And then when the campaign is live, you have the option to analyze everything that's going on, compare the results, have reports, and as an extra step, either before you launch or even after you've launched, because you know you can always update the content that's live, there is this performance section that kind of tells you what you need to improve or review to make this work well. So for example, with our calculator, we don't really have a CTA. Go to settings and select call to action and add maybe a reference to your product or to more educational content for the people who have finished using your calculator. And now we are going back to see some of the other types of content you can create. Basically, next you have the outcome quiz. I'm just going to choose one of these layouts. And basically, the editor is the same as with the other type of content we had. The main difference is that there are some extra settings. So, for example, for every single question, you have this logic jump feature as an extra, which allows you to add conditions. So, for example, when someone answers this question with an option, they can jump maybe to the very last question or to the very end. So it really depends. Then you have your assessment, which is kind of a quiz for providing a score for the test. And again, you have the logging jump. The form slash survey and giveaway options are kind of similar. So I'm just going to go with the chat bot to kind of show you what this could look like and how you can use it. And let's say we are doing this chatbot for HR, just use the template. And this is going to be very different from the rest of the content we have gone through. Now the editor essentially does look kind of the same way, but there's no welcome screen. And basically you can have this option to display one thing on the left side, on the right side, and this isn't like an AI based chatbot. So this is just what I want to clarify. You can actually give answers in here. So it's more interactive than a usual survey. And this is really good if you want to kind of change up the way you do surveys. But yes, you can use it for polls and kind of chatbot like surveys and giveaways. And of course, you have this numerical calculator tool, which is the best thing about Outgrow. But I would say there's better tools out there and we are going to look over them in the upcoming videos. So don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned.